Hey guys, this is Zomi B10. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to get your songs off of your iPod and uh, back onto your iTunes. This will work for any iPod. I think it might even work for iPhone. Don't worry, your iPod will not crash. Nothing will happen to it. Uh, once you have your iPod plugged in, you need to go to my computer. Uh, you need to look for your iPod. Double click it. And then once you get there, you'll see a bunch of these options. Uh, I've already done this, so you can see my iPod control. Uh, that, sh that will not be there for you. Uh, for Vista, you're supposed to click Alt. Uh, for Windows XP, just go to Tools. Go to Folder Options, and then you click the View tab. Uh, when you go, usually, well, for you guys, it will, uh, under the Hidden Files and Folders folder, um, it will be do not allow hidden files and folders uh, click show uh, apply okay and then as you get it you'll see this folder called iPod control um, once you're in there this is basically all data for your iPod uh, go to music and uh, this is basically all the music you have on your iTunes I mean on your iPod uh, click a folder. Uh, what you need to do is you select it all, like all the music. Um, the title is in weird format, but don't worry, it'll come out proper once you drag it into your iTunes. Uh, you need to once you're there, uh, open up iTunes. Just let that load up. Uh, let's hit cancel. Once you're there, you got all of your music. This is all your music. This is well, I have it because I've already done it before. Uh, just open the folder. And once you've already selected it, just uh, click and drag into your iTunes. And uh, yeah, you should get all your music there. Hope this video has helped you. Uh, rate, vote, and comment. Please and thank you. And uh, goodbye.